Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. To, Peace out. To the YouTube channel. Yes. Welcome to the third episode of the Trailblazers League. I have made some insane amounts of progress since my last video. You can see here, instead of 32 tasks until the next region unlocked, I need only 6 and 1080 points until the next relic. I ended my last video pretty much with just unlocking the next relic. So I have progressed quite a bit and these are my current stats. I am getting very close to being able to unlock another zone and when I do that I'm going to unlock the Kandarin area. It is going to give me so many good things. For example, a Dragon Scimitar is going to be such an upgrade from a Rapier, which is tier 40. And with that, I'm going to go super hard on Slayer. And we're going to try to get a Black Mask in this video. Maybe do some Barrows. It is going to be so exciting. I actually have three Mossy Keys in the bank. So I am going to try to kill the most Giant Boss, Brythopia. And if I die, it is not the end of the world. I do have two other keys. That was pretty easy, I only had to use this much food and the first kill is going to give me 10k coins and a beginner clue, of course the task as well. If I can complete this beginner clue, it is another step, but I'm poisoned right now. Lumbridge Castle, okay, I might be able to complete this, which would be super good. Perfect, I could complete the casket, so regardless, this is going to be one task and if I get a unique, it is going to be two tasks. So uh, let's hope we do get a unique. Oh no, that is not a unique. Finally, there is not a million people standing in queue to kill the lesser demon. So that is going to be my final task for a new area. And uh, let's just update this. I can finally unlock Kandarin, which is such an amazing area. That gives me Monkey Madness 1 and 2, by the way. So I will be able to, with the money, buy a Dragon Scimitar. Such a nice upgrade. So what is my goals now that I've unlocked Kandarin? Well, it is going to be to unlock the next relic fairly fast and also make a lot of money to be able to use a Dragon Scimitar. I need to make 100k and I'm probably going to do that through Fletching, which should take quite a bit, but it's not going to be terrible. And I'm going to do all the tasks that I can do that gives a decent amount of points to get to that next relic because when I do, I will get up to 12 times the experience instead of times 8. Which is of course going to be extremely good for leveling my stats. As I said in the beginning, I have more mossy keys and I do think that if I get a rune item, that is going to be extremely good. So I'm going to kill two of him and hopefully get something good. A clue scroll and some chaos runes that I mean chaos runes is actually not too bad I can definitely use that for magic and maybe barrows just one rune item, please. Oh my god Yes, that is 23 K alk or actually I should just use that actually that is such a good upgrade So I'm actually doing temple tracking now I just got 60 attack by the way I didn't even expect that but I'm doing temple tracking now actually for bow strings as you can see in my inventory for making those bows to get the money for the dragon scimitar but I just wanted to record here because these nail based beast nails are actually extremely important for my account because they are used to make sandfew serums which are a essential potion for the nightmare so I will be forced to go back here and get more of them if I want to do a lot of nightmare. I'm actually going to try one Barrow's run because it is a task and if I would get a piece of armor I, depending on of course what it is, I might save it or I might alk it for like 200k which is just insane. But before that I wanted to get 40 for the ranged protection prayer and I have to get my prayer up a bit but uh, yeah I'm going to try to do Barrow's and see how it goes. Darug is down and I did actually tank 3 hits from him at very very low HP. So that was pretty scary, it could have easily been one shot but it is now dead so we should be getting a KC. Okay I am actually so excited for this, I have 83% loot potential, just got it up just a small amount. And uh, if I do get a piece here, that is going to be so game-changing for me. It's 1 in 8, pretty much, so uh, let's just hope this is the chest. It is not, but it is a task, and this elite clue scroll I am not going to be able to complete. But uh, I am going to try to keep doing some Barrow's runs, and uh, it would be lovely to get one piece. 
it is definitely a struggle with my current uh, leveled account to do barrels so I went for 100% potential just to maximize the amount of loot that I get in runes and money and all that. So let's see what the second chest is going to be. Oh my god, that is not good. So currently, even though it was very fun to try barrels, it is very inefficient. But what I'm going to do is, I have actually been grinding out some points and I'm very close to my next relic. That relic is going to give me, instead of 8 times the experience, up to 12 times the experience. And that is going to help me in PVMing. I have been doing some Slayer, some combat in general. And I'm working towards that Dragon Scimitar. By the way, 100 points achieved right there. Only 120 more points if I do this. And let's get that other relic and then grind some Slayer for some money. Completed the easy Ardoin Diary, which is super good because then I can use the Antique Lamp on Herblore. I am now, well, 20,000 experience by the way. And that gave me all the way to 40. Which means I can now make prayer potions. I was previously 32, so uh, quite an upgrade there. Enter the ranged guild is going to be the last task I have to do to be able to get my next relic. 50 points and then go to tasks. I can now choose another relic, which is going to be a natural selection. Also look at this, superior slayer creatures have a 1 in 25 chance of spawning, which is 4 times as likely, and I now get 12 times the experience. By the way, if you don't know what this relic does, it uh, allows you to choose whatever task you want. When getting a slayer task, you can choose which task to receive. First superior, 34,000 experience, and that is a hard clue, of course. Of course, I also got a task for that. I doubt I can actually complete this one. Center of the Abyss, I think that requires the wilderness, so already I can't do it. I recently got 43 prayer, and uh, with the last recall perk, which is just insane, I'm so happy that I picked it. You can actually pretty much have unlimited prayer if you have the Ardoin cloak. I can just do this. Teleport right here. You have unlimited charges. There is an altar right here And I'm going to be using this for cave horrors when I'm hunting for that black mask And then you just click the crystal and you're back to the slayer task again and you have full prayer I'm actually not quite sure how this works because there are no aberrant specters here on this task I don't necessarily want one right now, but I am level 68 slayers so I should be able to pick them but they're just not on the list. So uh, I'm going to pick Cave Horrors now. Yes, I'm going to take that task. 106 of them. And I do need to buy this icon as well. Otherwise I will get destroyed by them. But let's see if we can get a black mask. That took me like 10. And I got a black mask. That is extremely lucky. I can drop my leather cowl. Quite the upgrade. Well, not that I need it. But uh, second black mask after like 20 more KC. Well, I did definitely get a black mask on this task, that is the third one, actually from a superior as well, so uh, actually I've had a lot of those, you can see that the perk is insane. Finally, I do have enough money to buy the Dragon Scimitar, which is a massive upgrade, and it is actually two tasks I can complete with this, it is just equip a dragon weaponry, not sure if that's 50 or 100 points, we will have to see, it is uh, 50 points, and then if I go outside, I can actually just spec anything and I will get another task done. There we go for 100 points. Oh wait, actually, why is that 100 points now? Equip wait, what? Did I get two tasks? Oh, the Dragon Scimitar in itself is one. And then 50, so that's 200 points right there from one weapon. I'm probably not even statistically joking. I think half or close to half the Slayer experience you're going to get if you have the Unnatural Selection perk is just from superiors. The amount of experience you get is so insane. This one gives me 34,000 Slayer experience. If we can kill this in this clip, you will see how much it is. I think it's around that at least. And I'm now 72 Slayer, so I'm getting closer to 75. At that point, we're going to kill Gargoyles, and I'm going to get so much money from that. Look at this. 34,000, and I got 10 superiors killed already, and I pretty much unlocked the perk recently. My first 80 skill is going to be 100 points. It is insane strength experience right now. I'm just going to keep training strength now because when I do eventually get that whip, I can power level my attack and defense to 99. So I'm actually going to go and cancel this task because, oh, that's a good drop last one, uh, because I got 75 Slayer and uh, I do have enough points to cancel the task and then pick a Gargoyle task. 
Hopefully, I will be able to, because as you saw before, I couldn't pick Aberrant Spectres for some reason, but hopefully you can pick the Gargoyles. And I will, most likely from a task, get Rune Plate Legs instead of Studded Chaps, and uh, hopefully some good upgrades and a lot of money, which I really need. There we go, that didn't take too long. The Rune Plate Legs, I actually got Adamant as well in between, but that is such a massive upgrade. Okay, I killed one superior, which was very, very hard. I was just barely able to kill it, and I got a Dust Battle Staff. I'm pretty sure I can use that somewhere, but I'm uh, not sure just yet. 100 points, though, for that task, and a Rune Full Helm. Because of how insane money Gargoyles are, I still have 91, by the way. I've only killed, like, 45 of them. I can now buy a Rune Plate Body, and I'm actually going to buy... Actually, how much is this? 10k. Yeah, that's definitely not that much. I now have a pretty much full rune set. I don't have the shield and I don't have the gloves. Also, of course, not the boots, but the two essential pieces I do have. When the superior dies, something really huge is going to happen. So uh, hopefully I will be able to hit it if <laughs> I don't consistently hit zeros. There we go. 85 Slayer is now completed. I do have enough points to skip this Bloodville task. Actually, it's only 35 left. I'm just going to finish it, and then we're going to get an Abyssal Whip. And after that, I'm going to get 87, and we're going to hunt Krakens for that Trident. And when I get the Trident, ooh, we are going to get some Barrows items done. Well, okay, uh, that took like 6 kills for my Abyssal Whip. That looks so nice, 250 points. Just doing Slayer gives the most amount of points. I mean, I got like 250 points plus 100 for just killing an Abyssal Demon, so 350 points. And then for 90 strength just from killing Blood Vels, I also got 250 points. At 95 you get 250 points. So yeah, it's just insane amounts of points. So I'm not even that far off being able to get my next Relic, a bit more than halfway. I actually just got level 100 combat and also, of course, 87 Slayer, but I got 100 points for 100 combat and I can now kill Cave Kraken. So we're going to actually cancel this task and try to get a Kraken task and get that Trident, which is a massive upgrade for Barrows. So if you didn't know, you can't actually protect magic against the Cave Krakens, so you just have to bring as much magic defense as you possibly can. And my range level is 40. And I don't really have any good magic defense gear. You can see here my magic defense is 58 with the maximum amount I could get. So I'm going to have to use a lot of food to be able to get this uh, trident. But uh, that's going to take quite a while. So I'm just going to be here fishing monkfish and then cooking them. And of course using my r last recall buff to go to the bank, go back to the uh, cave krakens and go through a lot of food to get my trident. But because of that, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.